And here's the rundown for the final heat. The top six qualifiers have made it to the final. The Bud, the Tosti, the Atlas, the Renault, Executone Telephones, and the Squire Shop. Chief referee for the racing today, Lee Shaneth, out of Detroit. And for the start, the boats are strung way out. It looks like the Renault on the inside. Here comes Mickey Riemann in the Squire Shop with a great start. Mickey Riemann in the Union Bay Squire Shop with possibly the best start of his career. He is way ahead of the field as he goes into the east turn. Not looking back, simply streaking down, going around the turn. You see second and third place. The butt of the Atlas Van Lines. Tosti's dead in the water back at the uh, west turn. He did not even start the race. But in the meantime, Mickey Riemann in first place in the Union Bay Squire Shop. He's got two people right there behind him. The Atlas on the left and the Budweiser on the right. Into the west turn, Mickey Riemann at some of the highest speeds that he has reached today. Screaming into that west turn. Look at it bounce off the sponsors out there. And pretty rough as a matter of fact. Mickey Riemann, he's moving along in first place here in the Squire Shop. Let's get a time for him. He's screaming down the main chute. Yes, 132.061 miles per hour, his fastest lap of the day. The Atlas Van Lines, as you can see, a rooster tail away from the Squire Shop. The Budweiser in third place with Jim Cropfell out of Cincinnati. That's the alternate boat. That's the Joe Ritchie. Spirit of Detroit going back to the pits and back to the leader, Mickey Riemann. What a great start. That was one of the finest I have seen in years. Mickey Riemann just trying to run away from the field and get the perfect start. He wanted to be on the inside. He wanted to be going at top speed. And look at this. The Budweiser slowing way down. Turning onto the infield is Jim Kropfeld. They put a brand new engine in for the final. But obviously they've got mechanical problems and Jim is done for the day. Bernie Little obviously disgusted the owner of the Budweiser, the winningest owner in hydroplane history. In the meantime, the Atlas Van Lines and Chip Hanna are giving chase to Mickey Riemann in the Squire's shop, and he's right now going into the West Turn. Mickey Riemann, look at the skid fit digging in, bouncing around. That boat is running better now than I've seen it in a number of races. Look who's right behind him. Chip Hanauer, the two-time Gold Cup winner, back in 82 and 83. In third place is the Renault. Milner Urban, the Miss Renault, the leader, Vicky Raymond, and the Squire Shop. There's the difference between the first and second place boats. The Atlas Van Lines in second place in lane number two. Mickey Riemann holding on for dear life going into that east turn. Here comes the Atlas Van Lines giving chase. Jim Lucero of the Atlas watching. Fran Bunsey there in the middle. Oh boy, you think she's nervous at all? This is the final, the run for the gold. They can win three straight if they can catch that man. Mickey Riemann in the Squire Shop. Atlas Van Lines, Chip Hanauer, two-time winner of the gold, is in second place. It's turned into a two-boat race now for first place. The Squire coming around the west turn. Mickey Riemann, he's one of the best drivers in the business, but I think that start was by far the best that he has ever put forth. In second place, the Atlas Van Lines. Here comes the move by Chip Hanauer, coming down in lane two. Mickey Riemann in lane one of the Squire Shop. He's slowing way down. The Atlas Van Lines moving into first place in the final for the 1984 Budweiser Gold Cup. In fact, Mickey's slowing way down, a little bit of fire coming out of the stack, or rather the blower, but it looks like he's all right, but the boat is done for the day. The Atlas Van Lines now enjoying smooth sailing as Chip Hanauer nearly has to bring it all the way home. Here's the battle now for third and fourth, second and third place. Check that, second and third place. The Miss Renault on the inside with Executive Telephones and George Johnson moving up. He's in third, about to take over second place. Let's see if he can do it. Great battle for second and third. George Johnson also in a Lucero design and build hall with the Merlin engines. He's moving into second place. The Atlas Van Lines, however, Chip Hanauer going after his third straight Gold Cup, this time here in Tri-City. He has not won here since joining the Atlas camp. That was about two and a half years ago. He won here once for the Squire camp, but he is winning the 1984 Budweiser Gold Cup to the Atlas Van Lines. There's Fran Muncy, the co-owner with Jim Lucero, part of the crew standing down in the pits. They can only see part of the course. Second place to this man, George Johnson, and the Executone Telephones. What a great day for the Executone Telephone team. Third place, Milner Irvin and the Miss Renault, the owner, Jerry Shaden. Chip Hanauer now joins in a very, very elite group. There have been only two other drivers in modern-day hydroplane racing that have won three straight go cups, Ron Musson and, of course, Bill Munson. And keep in mind, they got that win today. 
with really one and a half engines. They had one healthy turbine engine. Jim Panauer, Jim Lucero and company. There's Jim right there shaking hands with Dale, one of the crew members, many others. We'll be back to talk with the victorious crew and driver in just a minute.